Hey, thanks for joining me. Today we're going to be talking about servo control. As it relates to hydraulic pumps. So what I'm going to start out with here is we're going to draw, it's going to be a little piston pump. And there's my swash plate for my pump. And let's put a little pivot point in there. Now if I go and grab, and I stick a little lever on top of that pivot point there, okay, and I go and I run this lever forward and backwards, I can control the angle of the swash plate, move it from maximum displacement to minimum displacement, and maybe even go the other way and reverse the flow in my pump. This works great, it's manually controlled, and we just have a lever sticking out of the pump. Nothing really wrong with it, but let's say we want to make our machine a little fancier and we don't want levers in the machine, we don't want a great big lever, we want something nice and small. It only seems like uh, Peterbilt guys that like having a lever sticking up to the roof of the cab there. So let's get rid of the lever and we'll make it a nice little small one. Another reason why we may have to get rid of the lever is as our pumps get stronger and the pressure gets higher and higher, that pressure is pushing back on the pistons, which again, our lever has to counteract and we're going to have to have some type of a friction type um, stop on it that we have to overcome. So maybe the pumps just simply get too big, the lever has to get too long and well, we run out of the room. So let's get rid of the lever and let's servo control a hydraulic cylinder, or our swash plate, I mean, sorry. So there's my pumps. There's my swash plate, and on the swash plate, let's hook in a little cylinder. There's my cylinder on that side, cylinder on this side, and we'll stick a bore in here and a bore there for the cylinders to ride in. Something like that. So now, if we go and add hydraulic oil to, let's say, this side here, that's going to push that piston in this direction. When I push it in that direction, we're going to stand the swash plate up towards zero. And if I put oil in this side and drain this side off the tank, now it's going to push backwards, pushing the pump into full stroke. And this is servo control. So servo is just a fancy name for a cylinder. Okay, so cylinder control. We got a little hydraulic cylinder on there that's controlling it. That's what servo control is. It's literally all it is. So let's add a few more things to this thing because we got to get oil in and out of these cylinders. Let's make it a little fancier and we'll show the rest of the valve here. If I add in a really small little directional control valve to this thing, and let's make it open center, I'll put a pump on here and draw this one back to tank, and then let's put one side into this part of the cylinder, the other side into this part of the cylinder, we'll block them off, and let's have the oil flow in this way, out that way, and of course we're going to cross on this one. There. Now let's put a little tiny lever on this thing. So come out of there. There's my little lever. So now when I move this lever forwards and backwards, I can open and close the control valve and send oil into this side. If I put this envelope here in line, the oil is going to flow through, flow into here. This side is hooked to tank, it goes through there, and the cylinder will move to the right, moving the pump to maximum displacement. If I push the lever the opposite direction and hook this envelope up here, now the oil flows into this side, flows into here, Pushing the cylinder to the left towards minimum displacement, that oil can come out, crosses over, and ends back up in tank, and the cylinder moves this direction. If I let go of the lever, and let's say I spring center that lever, 
Now, I like what lever, lever springs to center, whatever position this cylinder is in, there's no connection to the ports or anything, so it is hydraulically locked. So this pump will stay at that particular location until I move this valve. So there is a little tiny uh, pilot operated, not pilot operated, sorry, but a little tiny um, control valve that is operating the servo cylinder, which is hooked to the swash plate controlling the displacement. Do I want to get a little fancier? Sure, we can get a little fancier. And let's put in an electric solenoid on each end. Now I just have a push button switch or something and I can turn it on or off one direction or other and electrically switch it. So now we just got a little push button instead of a great big lever in the cap controlling my pump. So for simplicity's sake, I put the hand lever back in place there. Now imagine if I pull the valve in this direction just slightly. So I move the valve this way and I've got a little crack of oil going through here and here. This side's hooked to tank. And if I just move that and held it in that position, pump oil is gonna continue to flow into here. And if it keeps flowing into here, this valve is gonna move further and further towards maximum displacement. Now let's say I want to move just a little bit of oil. So I just want to move it a little direction, but I want this to say only pump a small amount of oil. I'd move the control valve, and when it got going the speed I wanted it to go, I'd have to push the control valve or let it go and block it off. And then the pump will continue at that speed. If it's going too fast, I'd have to push it back a little bit, then let the lever go and it would block off. There's something pretty interesting we can do to kind of save us from that hassle. And what that is, we'll just draw this out a little bit again. Is I'm going to add in one more component here. I'm going to draw a line here. and a line up top. So these two lines, whenever you see a valve with two lines parallel to that valve, means it's infinitely adjustable or it may have an outside sleeve that moves. So let's say this is an outside sleeve and there's passages that happen to travel through it and get here and there just like it was before. Okay, now let's take this outside sleeve and physically make a connection to the um, swash plate somehow. Okay, so now the valve sitting here, I push the control valve, and let's say, um, <clears throat> well, let's do what we were doing before. Let's say I pull the control valve in this direction. That opens up this pocket to right here. So we get oil flowing through into the cylinder. Outlet of the cylinder flows through to tank. The servo cylinder starts to move, moving the pump towards full displacement. As the swash plate physically moves and the servo moves it, it's also going to grab this outer sleeve then. If this is moving in this direction, it's going to grab the outer sleeve and also move it in that direction. So we pulled the inner valve to the right. Once the pump moves, this outer sleeve also moves to the right and puts the center section blocked off. So there I moved the control valve a little bit. The pump stroked and it just quit stroking. It didn't keep going like it would before and I didn't have to let go of the lever. If I wanna go faster, I pull the lever further, moves this further to the right, puts more oil in here, drains this side off as the swash plate moves towards maximum displacement. The cylinder is moving, it's pulling the outer sleeve and blocking it back off again. If I want to go slower, move the lever this direction. That's going to move the valve in that direction, we'll say. So the, this center valve is moving that direction. We supply oil into this side. It moves the servo cylinder 
which is hooked to the swash plate towards D stroke. As it moves, the outer sleeve moves in the same direction and blocks it off again. So that is a servo control. So there's my hydraulic pump, the swash plate, the cylinder, the servo cylinder hooked to it. And we're using this little valve to control the cylinder. And this here is a feedback linkage. So it has a feedback to it. So I ask the pump to move a little bit. Once the pump physically moves that little bit, it shuts off gives us our feedback so the operator doesn't have to constantly adjust speed. He can push it halfway and we'll get half flow. Pulls it back a quarter, we get a quarter flow. There's no worrying about trying to find the happy spot. So that's a quick rundown on hydraulic servo control. Hope you found it informative. Thanks for watching.